This is the second of three videos that will introduce you to the basics of the First Class 12 web client. In the first video, we talked about these items. In this video, we'll give an overview of the Preferences menu, your profile, your mailbox, calendar, drafts, contacts, file storage, and documents. Your desktop includes a menu in the top right corner that allows you to update your preferences, profile, and password, or to disconnect from your server. Your profile provides others with personal information about you and ways to contact you. It's important that you complete your profile to make the first class collaborative experience as rich as possible. Your mailbox stores personal items such as your private email. The mailbox pane on the left sidebar lists all unread items in your mailbox. To open one of these items, click it. Your mailbox opens in the central pane with this item automatically opened. The item disappears from the list of unread items once read. To open your entire mailbox without opening an item within it, click the mailbox title. Note, depending on how your organization handles email, you may not have a first class mailbox. Here's an example of a user on this system who uses another email system but uses first class for collaboration. Your personal calendar stores events and tasks that you have created, plus events to which you have been invited. The calendar pane in the left sidebar shows your personal calendar as a mini calendar in month view, followed by a list of today's events and tasks. To open the calendar in the central pane, click the calendar title. To open an item listed below the calendar, click it, and the calendar opens at the same time. The workspace pane in the left sidebar lists folders meant for your personal rather than shared information. To open one of these folders, you can click on it. The folders in this pane are your drafts, contacts, file storage, and documents. The draft selection lists all items that you have saved as drafts because you are not yet ready to publish or send them. You'll also see these items in other locations. For example, an unsent message will also show in your mailbox. A document created in a conference and saved as a draft will also show for you only in that conference. Messages are automatically saved as drafts if you create and close them without sending them. When you are ready to send an unsent message, you can choose Send from this menu. In your contacts folder, you can store personal contact information for friends and business associates. Again, depending on how your organization handles email, you may or may not have a first class contacts folder. Here again is that same user we saw earlier, and notice he has no contacts folder. The documents and file storage areas are places where you can store uploaded files for your personal use, and depending on the type of file, you may see a thumbnail of the file contents in the list of files. You can also create first class type documents in these folders. Clicking on one of the items will either display the object in the viewing pane, open it in a new browser window, or download and open the application that created it. There is really no distinction between the documents and file storage containers, and they both exist due to legacy first class reasons. Going forward, new first class installations will likely only have one of these containers where you can store both your external files and documents and create new first class documents. In the next video, we will cover the social media aspects of first class that are displayed in the right pane, along with the external applications that may be installed on your server.